cannot wait to review this beautiful Fluval Aqua Sky Light. Oh, hey guys. Well, I didn't quite see you there, but uh, I guess you guys are going to watch me uh, open up this light and see if this light is the best light for your pet reptile. Today we're doing a slightly different video. We're going to be reviewing a product. Normally I'm walking around with the camera in my hand, talking to the camera like a crazy person. But in today's video, we're going to be actually unboxing and reviewing a light. Now I know it says Aqua Sky is originally an aquatic light for aquatic fish and whatnot. Who said aquatic lights couldn't work for reptiles? I'm not a reptile, but for my reptiles. I've been wanting one of these lights to put on some of my enclosures forever now. So I'm finally glad we finally got one. Without further ado guys, let's get into opening up the Fluval Aqua Sky Light to see if it is the best LED light for your reptile. Now remember LED lights are just light, they don't produce any sort of heat, they don't produce UVB or anything else like that. But LED lights are really good for bringing out color in your animal and in your cage. And as well as your cage, the plants and other things that are inside of the cage. So having a nice high-end LED light may be beneficial for your reptile, whether it's a snake, a lizard, or even an amphibian like a toad. Now first things first, taking a look at this light, this thing looks fantastic, the box is really well packaged, and this light actually connects to your phone, so that means we gotta download another app. But once you download this app, then the light is completely controlled off of your phone, and you can adjust it all from your phone. So, being that we have to connect it to the Fluval Smart App, we're going to do that right now. We've got our phone pulled up here with the Fluval Smart App, if my camera will want to focus. Just like so. So, Fluval Smart, I believe, is the one we want. I don't think we need the Cookout 318 or anything else like that. I'm pretty sure it is Fluval Smart. So, let's, let's press Get. Oh, there we go. All right, let's open it. Let's open it. Here we go. Select language. Let's go English. Select country. All right, here we go. United States of America. There we go. We'll enter that. Fluval would like to use Bluetooth. Yes, we got to allow Bluetooth. You need Bluetooth. Okay, um, let's just say okay. Let's just say okay. I don't know what a lot of this means. All right, so the Fluval app is started up. Now, the only thing we need to do before we can connect our light is, well, we need to unbox that bad boy. So let's get that unboxed. Okay, okay, step one here. Let's get this cardboard opened up and see what we are working with. We're opening up our cardboard here. Oh, here we go. I think... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at how skinny it is, guys. The light is way skinnier than the box. And boom, there we go. Let's see. Is there anything else in here that we can get out? Oh, there's another thing. Okay, this box is trash. We can throw this to the side. Now we've got our instruction pamphlet here. It's got all the information we may or may not need. We'll set that right there. And wow, look at this light. First of all, it's really well built. It feels really sturdy, but man, it is skinny. This guy is a very small, skinny light. So hopefully it'll work out for what we need. Now it's obviously pretty important if you're gonna have a light you need electricity, so let's get our plug run to an outlet here. Let's open all this little twisty tie stuff up. All right, we're gonna make the connection here. Boom, all right, let's go plug this in to the wall. All right, it's plugged in, and whoa! Dang, look at the brightness on that light. Holy smokes, guys. Well, now that we've gotten this guy opened, it's time to connect it to our phone. Now, I believe I just opened up the app. Alrighty, working our way onto our phone. There's our Fluval Aqua Sky. So there's the light down there. There's the Fluval Aqua Sky. So let's press that. Let's press, uh, I guess, scan. Okay, I guess this means it's working. Do we, do we press it? I'm not sure guys. Oh, connecting device, connecting device. Okay, here we go guys. Oh my goodness. And this is why I wanted that light for my animals. Look at the amount of settings this has. Do y'all see that? All right, let's try, let's try orange. There we go, we got orange going. Let's try yellow. Yellow's going. Blue. Blue is going. Guys, these weather settings are so cool. So if we do moon, I'm not sure what changes yet. Let's click uh, thunderstorm. 
And look at that. You see how it changes colors? Let's do a cloudy thunderstorm. Okay, so it's a little bit brighter, a little bit more cloudy with like light rain, I guess. Oh, that's like color changing. Okay. Well, y'all, that's why I wanted this light right here because of all of these settings. Now, I will say the only thing that I wish this light did have was the ability to have sound. If it had sound along with the thunderstorm, that would make it so, so much better. But I am not complaining about the effectiveness of this light at all. It's so cool. So once again, if we hit thunderstorm, watch how the light color changes. I'm not sure how well the camera picks it up, but do y'all see that? Just like as if it was a thunderstorm in the wild. You know what? As a matter of fact, let's go set this on some cages and see how it looks on the enclosures themselves. Well, holy smoke. So we just put this on Fuego's cage and man does that thing look fabulous okay let's try changing colors here orange that looks okay there's a lot of reflection um, what about blue that looks pretty cool that looks pretty cool now if I turn off my ring light maybe that'll help okay now let's try a different setting or a different color let's try a uh, blue here look at that wow this would be great for a scorpion or some sort of other invertebrate that you want this nice vibrant blue on that's a super cool color i think fuego down there likes it as well now let's try some of the weather settings let's do the moon so this is nighttime moon we can try another moon setting i'm not sure this okay so this is all the different moon settings you can see the brightness how it changes that looks really good in my opinion Okay, starting back to where we were, all the way again to the clear, let's do our thunderstorm now. Let's see what that looks like. That looks so cool. Wow, okay, so again, the other thunderstorm option, guys, it's literally a tropical rainforest. Imagine that. What an incredible light fixture. Let's do the last thunderstorm option. There we go. So that's a sunny thunderstorm, I guess. I'm not, I'm not too sure. I'm not really too sure what all changes here. I'm still learning all these modes. But man, if you guys haven't gotten yourselves a light like this, you need to right away. And wow, the color changed on us. Okay, maybe. Oh, wow. Okay, so it adjusts. It adjusted on its own. Okay, that's pretty cool. And now if we adjust to our different modes, we can change the level of output and colors and other gradients and things like that. It gets super in-depth. As you can see, you can set time points for everything to occur. You can switch the day times and everything. Like, look at all this. Or we can just go to our personal hand manned without having to do a timer, just like it says there. And once again, I'm just obsessed with this thunderstorm feature. I'm just obsessed with it. The way the lights flicker on and it changes. And imagine we had thunderstorm sound effects. That would be fantastic. Now I will say, if you have not gotten this light right here, the Fluval Aqua Sky, once again, it could be for pet fish or it could be for reptiles if you have a giant reptile room like I do. It is a must have item. So definitely consider getting the Fluval Aqua Sky LED light strip. Look at that guy. Now I will mind you, I am not a sponsor of this light or anything like that, of Fluval or anything like that. I'm not being sponsored by him to say this. I just so far, really really like this light strip and for those of y'all watching this video i'll let you in on a little secret let's just say this is going to be for a new setup of a very fat toad some of you guys may know who that toad is and what her name is but that's where this light will be going so stay tuned for that but with all that being said i just wanted to show y'all that app controlled led light i wanted to kind of make a slightly different video from my regular video so i decided why not do an unboxing video let me know what you guys think of an led light like this down in the comments below feel free to drop a comment and then of course after you've dropped a comment on this light what you guys think of it if it's worth the money which I paid 120 something dollars for. And hey, that was the Fluval Aqua Sky Light. Is this the best LED light for your reptile? Let me know down in the comments, and we will see you all in the next one. Peace!